very good morning to you all and a warm welcome to London Business School's 2012 Global Leadership Summit. I'm really excited about the day, especially being you know, about sports. What is it that sport can tell us about leading, what leading can tell us about sport? The thing that we are brought up on in New Zealand, and especially in the All Blacks, is that winning is the most important thing, and it's how you uh, mould that into your organisation. We're looking for really strong egos, people that believe in themselves, that have confidence in their ability, that really want to bring it to the table. I've seen how really high-performing teams in the sports world really are not very different from us in the business world. And just to put the scale of something like London 2012 into context, it is a challenge equivalent to building a FTSE 100 company with over 200,000 employees and dismantling it all in the space of eight years. I talk really about the power particularly of major events and nothing is like the Olympics. It's about emotional affinity. It's the holy grail when you're building a brand is that you want emotional affinity. The successful sports have been driven by benign dictators. <laughs> a, Bernie, a Bernie Eccleston, a Peter Uberoth, a David Stern. People who have very clear what it is they're trying to achieve as they take the sport and they move it forward. This day has been spectacular. It's the first time I've attended one of the GLS events and I've just been blown away by the content and the types of people that I'm meeting here. It's a chance to interact with leaders of industry. So that's the reason why I keep coming back. We know what's happening with social media. Twitter, Facebook, whatever the global medium is, I mean, they go crazy during sporting events. You oversaw a revenue boost from 60 odd million dollars to two billion dollars. The product already existed. The market already existed, repackaged the entire marketing side of it and sold it back to the same broadcasters for a lot more money. <laughs> now here's a sports brand that was already there, but needed a bit of rejuvenating, shall we say. And here's the man that's supposed to do that, Andrea Agnelli, chairman of Juventus Football Club. I've always loved uh, sports management in general. I have been involved for three years in Formula One. I'm involved in golf itself, so I decided to get into and, and take direct responsibility. To us, the objective is to compete at high level and maintain financial equilibrium. Please get your handsets ready. Do you think major sporting events can deliver a significant return on investment? You vote now. Many of us who are active, continuing members of the community uh, can get together. And uh, I think it's all part of London Business School on the world map as it should be. A fusion of academia, industry, commerce, future leaders. Provided for different mindset. Impressive. Insightful. Amazing. Intensive energy. Awe-inspiring. Brilliant.